Father, we bless your name. Teach us your word in the name of Jesus. And this is the ministry of Moses, part 48. We're going to take our text from Exodus 33, uh, verse 20 to 23. According to verse 20, the Lord told Moses that he cannot see his face because if that happens, he will die. Let us check it from the scriptures. And he said, Thou canst see my face, for there shall no man see my face and live. Now the question is, why did God say this? Does it mean to see God's does it does it mean to seek God's face is is impossible? What then has Moses been seeing all this while? He has been meeting with God. You will discover that Moses asked God for, you know, his glory. But suddenly, God began to talk about his face. <laughs> Moses said, show me your glory. And the next thing God said was, oh, you cannot see my face. <laughs> you know, Moses said, show me your glory. And God answered, you cannot see my face. <laughs> if you are discerning, then you will discover that there is a link between the face of God and the glory of God. If you ask a man, show me your money, and the money, you know, and the man says, you cannot see my pocket. What does that mean? Logically, we can conclude that the man's money is actually in the man's pocket. So, if we then link this back to the face, you know, back to the face of God that Moses asked for, it will mean that the glory of God is in the face of God. The glory of God is the beauty of God. If you want to know if a girl or a lady is beautiful is beautiful physically we have to check is the face and from what you see on the face you will be able to draw your conclusion beauty is glory in the kingdom glory is the is the word that expresses the beauty of a thing the beauty of a thing is the secrets the essence and the totality of that thing so when moses said show me your glory he was asking to know everything about God. And this is impossible. There is a certain knowledge about God that a man can not be exposed to. Because if, it's, if you are exposed to it, you will just disappear from it. That was what happened in the case of Enoch. But, Moses, but, but for Moses, God still wanted him to be around. So he said, no way. If God had answered or granted the request of, of Moses in the exact way he asked, then Moses will, you know, then Moses would have just vanished suddenly, like Enoch. Because that bank of knowledge Moses was asking for will envelope him and take him out of it. Now, the face of God is the glory of God or the beauty of God. This has two dimensions. Now, God's face, the first dimension is knowing more of God. And the second dimension is knowing all of God. So, knowing more of God is stage one. And knowing all of God is stage two. God has, you know, God has been limiting us to, to this first dimension. Because when he exposed brother Enoch to the second stage, the second dimension... His life was cut short. He vanished. In order to avoid this, he kept the second stage, the second dimension, away from us and exposes us only to the first dimension. This is why we can only know more of God, but we can't know all of God. We can only know more of God. We cannot know all of God. You can only know more of God. You cannot know all of God. It is impossible, you know, it is possible to seek God's face. You can, you, can, you can even talk face to face like Moses. But all these are still in the first dimension, stage one. Each of the stages have about three steps. Now, for stage one, you know, stage one is knowing more of God. So stage, ma stage one has three steps. Step one is you see God talking to you from his word. That is step one, stage one. Now, step two in stage one is you hear God 
you know you hear him talking to you directly through your thoughts now step three in stage one is you 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 you'll be given a privilege to talk with god face to face these are levels that are still in stage one so it depends on how deep you have gone in god i hope you understand so moses talked with god face to face that means that he has already got into step three in stage one while enoch vanished when he got to the first step in stage two so once again you cannot know all of god you can only know more of god let us consider verse 21 to 23 and the lord said behold there is a place by me and thou shalt stand upon a rock and it shall come to pass why my glory passed by that i will put thee in a cleave of the rock and will cover thee with my hand while i pass by and i will take away my hand and thou shalt see my back parts but my face shall not be seen all this was a further explanation of what have been said earlier Moses wanted to see God's face, but God showed him his back. Sometimes our desires are not the same with what God wants for us. Though it may look spiritual, but yet, that doesn't mean it is God's will for us. That something sounds spiritual does not make it the will of God. Whatever aligns with God's desire is God's will. Some of us, you know, some of us, what we need to see is God's back but because we are too anxious we are craving for his face <laughs> god covered moses eyes with his hands to ensure that he doesn't see his face it is what god wants to show you that you will see it is what god wants to tell you that you will hear it is where god wants to lead you to that you will get to this is the definition of true spirituality May the Lord give you grace to understand even deeper in the name of Jesus. This is the wisdom of God. Don't sell it.